Hello everyone, my name is Gussie Warren of UFOSightingsDaily.com and what we're looking at today is a moon of Saturn. This moon's name is Dion. Okay, we're looking at the moon Dion and I found this face which is very unique. I colorized it here and here is the original. The face looks like there is an entrance to an underground base within its mouth. Sure, it sounds a little unusual, uh, but understanding how aliens think is going to be highly unusual. Now, let me show you an example. Let me uh, zoom out so you can see where we are. Okay, this is a close-up of the moon Dion, and it is right over here in this area right there. Uh, let me circle it so you can keep an eye on it. Okay, there we are and zoom in on it you can also see something else unusual in this photo it is down here there is some long lines uh, look at these lines here if I come across and make some lines for you you will notice that line goes here line goes here line goes here line goes here almost a, looks like a right angle and it comes down almost at a right angle, comes down almost at a right angle, comes down, comes down. Okay, pretty unusual it really is, uh, this area of the crater. And it does look like something is hidden down deep inside here. Uh, the darkness that really hides a lot. There's also some object sticking out over here. And two long objects right here which I have not discovered what these things are. I can't tell for sure if they're uh, structures that are partially buried or what. But the fact is, uh, this face here does look a lot like this ancient Roman face. If you remember this face it was in, a, I believe, a Cary Grant movie a long time ago in the 1940s, 1950s, and you put your hand in to conquer your fears and um, if you're brave, you'll do it. If you're not, that's okay. But I mean, I think it's the same concept here is that they fly into the mouth to show their bravery. They're flying into the mouth of some great warrior or something. Um, it, it's probably the same thing, but more artistic in its style. It's probably huge in its size. It looks like it's about um, uh, three to four kilometers across. So the entrance alone must be at least 500 meters right here, this little square area here. Can you see the square? Okay, this little square area here has to be at least four or 500 meters. It's huge. So uh, the face is on the moon Dion. Uh, and let's see, let me try to colorize it a little bit. Let me alter the colors so you can see the detail on this one here. Oh, I'm altering the one on the color one. Hmm. Okay, let's get rid of that. Let's go to this one. And add some contrast to it. Can you see the face right here standing out really well? Oh, some kind of structure right here. Okay, you can see it really well. And it looks to me like... Uh, it has a lip like a cat-like species right here there is a very thick line going all the way down to the lip uh, we do have that line but I doubt it it's not as prominent as theirs it looks like um, also looks like he has a long beard and his hair on his head you can actually see that part uh, but it is pretty cool how they made this okay uh, let's reset it normal color auto Ooh, too much light okay so you can see it when you alter the contrast really well the detail is pretty awesome uh, here's a normal and here is the colorized version if you're interested in finding this you can find it at this URL right here uh, photo journal JPL NASA government and PIA 12743 just look for that and you will find it. Um, so 
tell me what you think of this face and if you can please give us a thumbs up for your support we really need your support and please subscribe if you're interested in more strange and unusual things found on other planets from around the universe or around our solar system um, subscribe because I look for structures all over the place I was looking for structures when I found this I was not looking for the face but I find it quite unusual and very interesting it what happens if I darken this one just color and darken it now you can sort of see the face there the eyebrows see the eyebrows the forehead the, the cranium area but the mouth <laughs> very unusual all right, my name is Scott C. Warren of UFOSightingsDaily.com. Hope I see you there.